let's turn this into these. These dog tags are one of the first projects I have my level one manufacturing students complete. This is a great, simple, quick project for the students and it lets me introduce measurement and safety to the class. To prep for this project, I create all the metal blanks for the class with my foot shear. If you don't have access to a foot shear, what I would do is I just have my students make their own blanks using a set of hand shears. Whichever way you create the blanks, it doesn't really matter. The big thing is you just want to make sure they follow the plans. I have my students make them at 2 inches long by 1 inch tall. Next up, you want to use your plans to measure and mark out your reference length. You can find a link to the plans I use with my students in the description below. These lines will be used in the next step to help stamp the numbers and letters. The next step we have is stamping, and some stamp sets are going to be more helpful to you than others. We have three different stamp sets. The red set here works fine, but in a shop class they get an organizing loss on a daily basis. The set in the wooden box, much easier to keep organized and easier to spot check at the end of a piece. The other issue I found is it's hard to know which way to hold your stamp to get your letters oriented on your metal correctly. As we look at the smaller stamp, there's no marking on it to indicate which way you're supposed to hold it when you're ready to stamp. The bigger set we have has a marking on it which indicates which way you're supposed to hold it when you're stamping. The mark should be facing you when you're ready to stamp for it. Before you stamp, you want to gather all the letters and numbers you need and then lay them out in order. The stamping process works best when you have three hands. So grab some tape and fasten down two opposite corners of your blank to an angle. This step works best when you stamp from the inside out. And use those reference lines to keep everything center and level. You're not gonna want sharp corners on your metal. To clamp the metal down and use a file to round off all your things. Make sure to not leave any burrs on the front and back. Use your file to do a simple face pass to clean those up. Last process is drilling the hole. Use a center punch to mark your start point. Clamp your metal down, put your drill bit right where you stamp your start point, and drill straight through. If you get a burr on the back side, just use a file to clean it up. 
I use layout fluid on my metal to make it easier to see in the video. My students don't, but if you need to, use some sandpaper to clean up your metal and you're finished. If you teach shop, I'd love to hear the projects that you use in your classroom in the comments below. Thanks for watching.